Julian, thanks. And now here's Nemo in Seoul with a look at a new type of retail experience that's taking the city by storm. More than 15 million South Koreans now use smartphones. To capitalize on the trend, a new type of store aimed at mobile-mad consumers has emerged. An average of 200,000 people use Seoul Solon subway station every day. Photos on panels on the edge of platforms attract people's attention. Last month, the world's first virtual store opened at Seoul's Solung Station. The store sells a wide range of everyday necessities, such as meat, milk and tissue paper. But the store doesn't actually stock the products. All it has is life-size photos of the products and barcodes or QR codes. After activating an application on their smartphones, Customers take photos of the barcodes or QR codes of the product they want, make their payment and specify when and where they want the products to be delivered. If they place their orders before 1 p.m., they can take delivery of their purchases the same day. The virtual store is very convenient. Busy homemakers like me really like having such an easy way to do our shopping. As smartphone use becomes widespread, a big attraction is being able to get delivery without actually having to visit the store. Virtual stores have been receiving increased attention after winning the Grand Prix at the Cannes Lions International Festival of Creativity earlier this year. To create virtual stores, this company developed so-called picking technology, which allows quick access to products sold offline and a distribution system that ensures punctual deliveries. Home Plus virtual stores are the result of creative transformation of the traditional retail business model, space and time. These are fourth generation stores that integrate off and online commerce and technology. Virtual stores are a time-saving boon for busy urbanites and are being held as a mobile retail revolution. But one key hurdle has to be cleared, the high cost of delivery. The delivery fee for a purchase of 1,001 is 4,001, or $3.76. And it still takes almost the same amount of time for the product to be delivered as it does for purchases made via online retailers. The most important element in running a virtual store is logistics. Efficient delivery of goods is the key to success. Now we are in the mobile age, and the mobile market is bound to grow. With the combination of IT, mobile and distribution, it's very likely we'll see even greater synergy. The big question is whether virtual stores will be able to jumpstart the retail sector, which has been hit hard by the economic slowdown. And that does it from Seoul back to in Tokyo, Sherry. Nemo, thanks. And elsewhere in Asia, the Monetary Authority of Singapore on Wednesday downgraded its economic outlooks for 2011 and 2012.